So now we're going to go through the breath bag sampling. Now actually in terms of getting an end tidal sample it is actually easier to do the online direct breath sample with the mouthpiece um, because it gives the patient something a bit easier to aim towards um, but the machine does have a correction factor so you'll find that you'll always have a bit more oxygen in the sample for the breath bag mode and but it doesn't matter because as long as you get as low as oxygen in that bag as possible um, the bar will give a green or amber colour it will do a correction factor which means that the monitor needs to do a little bit more guessing um, but should give you a, a relatively similar result once the correction has been applied um, so for the breath bag test what you need is the filter uh, the filter goes onto the front of the machine and has little uh, drying balls in there to take any moisture out of the breath um, they start off orange and then when they're spent or used up they will go dark green so when they go green you need you know you need to change the filter over and approximately 150 tests until they go green so we'll pop that onto the front of the machine there um, the breath bag itself is shown here you have um, two little blue bungs at either side um, they can be used after the test um, to hold the sample for a bit longer if you're going to leave it a while before you do the sample and a clip as well and uh, I'll show you when I do the breath test that just makes it a bit easier for the patient to um, close the bag after they've done the test in order to um, hold the sample in there now the technique that's used for this um, you have a breath bag mouthpiece take one of those out of the bag and remove the bung in the tube on the end there put that into the end of the tube this has a one way valve in it so the patient can blow into the bag and what they're aiming to do is to get that last bit of breath in the bottom of their lung again, the entitled sample. So they blow through the bag and when they feel that the last bit of air is coming out of their lung, they just need to close the clamp on the end and then fill the bag up with the entitled sample from their lung. Um, obviously we take the bung out of the other end as well so that both ends of the bag are open. I'll just start the sampling mode on the machine. Um, again, if you want to do a bag sample, you just need to press the bag sample mode. It will start the purge and zero process before sampling the bag. So I'm now going to show you how to fill this bag up. So the sample is now held in the bag, close the clip and the mouthpiece stopped any air from coming back out. Um, so straight after you've done the test, the, you can do it either way around really. You can either take the mouthpiece off the end here and put it onto the um, filter. So as soon as you put it onto the filter, you won't lose any gas until the sample starts and the pump draws the sample out of the bag. Um, alternatively, you can take the mouthpiece off, put the bung in and turn it round but just make sure that you open the clip on the end if you put it that way around because it will um, stop any sample from coming out of the bag. So the sample's now started. You can see the again the bar on the screen there which is showing how good the end tidal sample is um, and the CH4 values and the H2 values on there as well. Uh, the monitor will draw the sample from the bag itself so there's no need to squeeze the bag or anything like that the pump will take as much sample as it needs in order to do the, the calculation and you can see here the bag um, has about 15.5% of oxygen in it which is higher um, than the level in the online breath sample I've got that down to 13.8 so like I said before the better levels of um, oxygen are normally found in the, the mouthpiece mode so it now uses the correction factor, changes that to 1.27 correction and then gives us a 30 on the CH4 and 24 on the hydrogen which is again relatively close to the, the reading we had in the first place but because there's more oxygen in the bag it needs to do a bit more of a calculation. And again to purge that sample you just press the button on the screen and uh, it restarts it again. Um, and that's how to do a breath test. That's it really, isn't it? Yeah.
In this video we're going to go through how to do a breath bag sample and a direct breath sample with the GastroCheck Gastrolyzer. Um, this is for version 9.0 firmware and on. Um, there's been a few changes to the firmware um, to make the, the test mode a little bit easier. Um, so to start with we're going to do the direct breath sampling mode and for this you need the breath sampling device which plugs into the front of the monitor here. You need to push that in until it clicks and the mouthpiece. Mouthpiece just pushes onto the front of the sample line here. Now to start the sampling test you just need to press the breath sample button on this side here. Press that and the monitor will then purge and zero. Now uh, the, the new features you'll see on the breath sampling mode are on the screen you'll see a red bar come up along here and this is to denote two things. Now the first thing it denotes is to where to keep the flow and the flow is shown on the screen by a blue line. You'll see all this when I'm doing the test. Um, the blue line needs to be kept within the bar and as soon as it gets into the bar it will then show a flashing blue light so you just need to keep that as steady as possible within the bar. Um, the bar will also change colour so it starts off red then changes to amber and then green and this is actually a, a slightly easier way to show when a good end tidal sample has been taken. Um, the end tidal sample is the last bit of air in the bottom of your lung and that is what we're trying to get to in order to get the best reading for hydrogen and methane. So the better the test, the colour will change from red, amber to green and I'm now going to show you how to do that here. So as you can see there, the um, oxygen level was down at 13.8 and a good end tidal sample would be less than 14% oxygen. Um, so the correction factor on there is 1, so there's no correction to the reading, so you can tell that a good end tidal sample has been taken. And my CH4 reading is 24 and the hydrogen reading is 19. Um, so and that's how you take a breath test, very easy. Um, hopefully the new training bar should help people to firstly keep the flow in the right area and secondly to indicate when a good end tidal sample has been taken. As soon as that bar goes green you can then press the breath sample button again to stop the sample and then you get the results. Um, so hopefully this should improve or make it a bit easier. To restart the test press the button again and it will then purge the last reading and uh, be ready to take another sample. 